Casey Musgraves, same trailer, different park. Yeah. Thanks for being on Top Country with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. 2013, whirlwind year. What's it been like for you? Um, it has been a whirlwind. Uh, I've, I've gotten to see so many different places um, that I've never been to, which has been really cool, even though I'm not really in that place for more than two seconds. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've gotten to be on tour with Kenny Chesney and Little Big Town and put out my record and, uh, you know, my band and I have gone on the road and um, it's just been like, I can't even really put into words what how crazy this year has been. And next week I'm turning 25, crazy. which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal, yeah. <laughs> just a milestone. Um, yeah. When you heard the record debuted at number one, what was what was that morning like for you? Um, well, it was it was a crazy day. I was in New York and um, there was like there was so much press. I don't think I've ever been busier than that day. Um, but we got to cap the night with some really good wine, and we all sat around a big table and had a lot of food. And uh, it was it was a really great day. I mean, I was kind of in disbelief, you know. Yeah, I remember when Mary Grow Round first came out. I listened to it, and I fell in love with the song. And I actually sent it to my mom because <laughs> she likes me to send her music all the time. She loved the song as well. And you know, I think a lot of people can relate to that. And there's a lot of songs on there, and one that really stands out to me is "Follow Your Arrow." And I think Thanks. a lot of fans. I mean, when you type in Casey Musgraves into Google, yeah. Follow Your Arrow is a very popular song. Yeah. So I'm kind of, I'm curious. I know Blowing Smoke's your single out right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering maybe, do you think there will be a release of Follow Your Arrow to radio or is it a little um, too edgy, you think? I think at some point it'll be right. Um, I mean, I want every song on the record Absolutely, to be a single yeah. uh, if it were up to me. Um, I don't know what'll be next. Um, you know, I feel like Blowing Smoke was a lot different than Merry Go Round. Yeah. They all kind of came from the same uh character i guess but um but i don't know i don't know what will be next maybe i'll let the fans decide sounds like a pretty good idea <laughs> but i mean that edginess in your songs was there any kind of worry when you were putting the record out were you worried what country radio might think about stuff like that the things that i sing about aren't you know they aren't big deals to me yeah. I, uh, I don't really think that they should beat anyone else i think it's just life and um we all live it and we're all inspired by we're all driven by the same emotions, you know, gay, straight, black, white, whatever it Absolutely. is. And it's like, it's only a big deal if you make it a big deal. And um, no, I just, uh, I just want to put good music out, you know. And I think so. you're definitely doing that. Thanks. And I follow you on Instagram. You're a big Instagrammer, <laughs> All my and I love pictures. that. And you probably no, I love saw it. the one last night. That I, I did the uh, yeah, the wine. Did, yes. Uh, don't tell the hotel. But and I yeah. saw the one on CNN or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. That's crazy. It just anything I see, I'm just like, okay, that's. Hilarious. How important is it to stay connected with fans in that way? I've watched your Instagram followers. I remember when I first started following you, it was like 10,000 mm -hmm. or something. And, you know, now it yeah. just keeps going and going. It is. It's crazy. I mean, you know, I think it's like anything. I don't want it to take over my life. I'd, I'd rather be present in the moment and, and not here. But um, the fact that I can communicate with everyone, like, so uh, just intimately, I guess, like I, I can hit one button and, and talk to 85,000 people nice. like immediately. And I think that's like, that's so futuristic. Like yeah. that's weird, um, but it's, it's also really cool. And it, it lets me get a lot of feedback as to what people are loving. And um, I don't know, it's, it's awesome. And you just played with Kenny Chesney last night in Canada. Yes. Was this your first time yeah, to Canada? Yeah, first show ever in Canada. I can check that off the and bucket list. What have, you, what have you seen in Canada so far? I'm sure you probably uh, haven't had too much well, time. I had some great sushi here. Oh, awesome. Um, so, and I mean, mainly just my hotel room, yeah. I hate to say, because I know that there's probably a lot of wonderful things out there to do, but, um, but hopefully, uh, I'll get to see more whenever I come back in January with Lady Antebellum. Casey Thanks. Musgrave, same trailer, different park. Yeah. Thanks, Casey. Thank you.